Oh my I'm god. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lex. In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Ah, girl, you won't believe this one. We got a lot to talk about. Ooh, the skinny legend has spoken. Jeffree Star, Trisha Paytas, huge, huge drama all over the world, girl. I'm shook right now. Okay, so let's talk, because I feel like we need to talk. Okay, so first of all, I want to say, Jeffree Star went out the other night, and he got paparazzi, girl. The paparazzi was coming from, hold on, hold on. This video is sponsored the house by Fords and Foster. I put it in the box because I wanted it to look nice for you girls. So I used this on Friday and I got so many compliments using this. Let me show it to you. You're gonna be shook by it. So I am not, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am not like a watch person. And they sent me, they're like, we have luxury watches, check, check us out. We're gonna send you one, see if you like it. And I was like, okay, well if I don't like it, I'm not gonna promote it, girl. Girl, when I tell you the compliments I got wearing this watch, and I never get, like, who compliments me? Like, whatever, right? So, here it is, right here. I have to put it back. It's still gonna be perfect. So, this was the watch. Girl, my friend was like, oh my god, I love your watch. He was like, it looks like this, it looks like that. I was like, no, girl, it's a Forge and Foster, and it's heavy. Oh, look at this, look, look, look. It just, it looks like the inside, oh my god, it looks so cool. So, if you are like a watch connoisseur, because there's some people out there who like really love watches, I think you're really gonna like this one. If I can put it on, hold on. There it is, girls. Okay, so this is the color rose gold. If you guys want it, I'll be giving this watch away. All you have to do is go over to Forge and Foster's Instagram, tell them I sent you, and uh, you'll be in the, in the winning, in the drawing, to win the watch. Also, leave a comment. Leave a red heart emoji down below. Mm-hmm your favorite pizza topping. And then, here, leave a like, be subscribed, enter as many times as you want, and then we'll announce the winner like in like in four or five days. How about that? And then, yeah, so check me out on Instagram, because I'll announce the winner on Instagram. So, may the odds be ever in your favor. It's a really nice watch too, girl. I think you're really gonna like it. Take, take a good snapshot, get me from my better angle, because you know I love a scandal. Ain't no drama I can't handle, girl. Okay. Uh oh, Jeffrey! Oh my I'm God! I'm flash you like Britney. You are blinged <laughs> out. I love the chain. How are we? I love this whole fit. This is giving me Christine Quinn right now. Yeah, okay, <laughs> it's giving Jeffrey Star <laughs> as Christine Quinn as Jeffrey Star. Right, 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 right. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, she's hot. No, no, no. She's hey, hot. listen. I wanted to ask you. So hey, one of me. your good or we'll say former friends, Trisha okay. Paytas, okay. is having a baby. Okay. Have you reached out to her? Have you congratulated her? I have not. Do you think maybe you will? <laughs> Trisha, congrats, bitch. That's nuts. I think she's always wanted to be a mom, so that's kind of awesome. Okay. I just want more dogs. <laughs> okay, oh, more dogs, more dogs. And then let me ask you this too, that you had Tana at your party the other night. We had a ball. So let's talk about this. So he went out, he got paparazzi, and they asked him about Trisha Paytas. And I was like, oh my God, this is it. He's gonna pop off, he's gonna say some crazy girl. He handled it. <laughs> let me read the clip, girl, it's hilarious. It's nuts, here we go. Trisha, congrats, bitch. That's nuts. I think she's always wanted to be a mom, so that's kind of awesome. Okay. I just want more dogs. <laughs> okay, oh, more dogs, more dogs. And then let me ask you this too: Tell that me. you had Tana at your party the other night. We had a ball. Now last People year, were a little shook. Actually. Right, last year. Me, Tana, Shane. It was like it was 2018 all over again. Right, right. Because last year she liked a bunch of tweets that were kind of like you know shading Shane. Yes. So how did, was it awkward inside no, there? They had, how? They had an look. I'm gonna give you a little exclusive. Okay. They had an amazing talk inside of the party, a real heart to heart, no bullshit, and I think they're always gonna be friends. So the yeah. past, let the past be gone Absolutely. and bury the hatchet yeah. and all that. I know it's a little rare in this town, but we right. really had a great talk and we and it, it was nice. It was special. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, okay. I kind of feel like that whole thing was kind of funny because like, congrats, bitch. It's nuts. Congrats. That's nuts. Like really? Like how do you, what do you wow. How would you congratulate somebody? And you, that's what you say. Congrats. That's nuts. Congrats. Like girl, girl. Trisha, congrats, bitch. That's nuts. I think I, Jeffree Star could care less if you ask me about Trisha Paytas and her baby and all that drama, girl. But I think he kept it classy. He said, "Congratulations, that nut, that's nuts." Like literally, no one thought that she would get pregnant. Oh, whoa! But I kind of feel like it's interesting that he handled it so well. And I say that because you know Trisha Paytas has some not so nice things to say about Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, and a lot of other people. I mean, this is a woman who practically I don't even think she has friends, if you ask me. But with that being said, Trisha Paytas continues to pop off online. 
online about people where Jeffree Star doesn't really pop off online about people. Like, when's the last time Jeffree Star popped off because somebody said some like off, off the heels or off coming at him sideways? He hasn't he hasn't done that. But Trisha Paytas popped off online the other day because somebody was commenting about her pregnancy and she decided to pop off about that. Trisha Paytas is the last person in the entire world that should be mothering a child. So normally I wouldn't respond to like hate, you know. Everyone's pretty much entitled to their opinion, but something like this just rubs me the wrong way for a lot of reasons. Imagine being at your lowest, right? I have a history of abusing prescription pills and using illicit drugs. I have a history of mental illness that went untreated for a long time, partially because of me. Yes, I went to three mental hospitals because of all of the above. That was my rock bottom that I needed to get clean. Going through there, I became again addicted to prescription pills and I didn't get clean completely until December 2020. I've been in active therapy that's been working for my mental illness for the past year and haven't exhibited any of this behavior that happened to me at my lowest. I had already been changing but the day I found out I was pregnant. And on that note, so many people have sent me their stories about how they were, you know, abusing alcohol, addicted to drugs, all this stuff. And um, the day they found out they were going to be a parent completely changed. I always say actions speak louder than words. So everyone's like, oh, she has a breakdown every single day. It's like I haven't in a very long time. I've disengaged from drama for almost a year. But more importantly, my sobriety. I've been sober since December 2020. I've been in active treatment since 2021. And it, it's working. <laughs> to like sit there and criticize another person's reproductive choices just feels ick to me. I've prayed for this for so long and God has finally blessed me and I just now more than ever will keep on the good path. But this kind of video already incites hate on an unborn child for absolutely no reason. She made a joke at the end of it saying she shouldn't be a mother either and that's fine if she deems herself unfit, but I know I'm going to be an amazing mother. And I'm not going to lie, like it does hurt. I mean, I should just block this and move on because I am like just so happy right now and I don't know, it does kind of hurt. <laughs> I guess it just sucks because the whole point of cancel culture is we want you to change, we want you to be better and then as soon as someone changes and starts to better themselves, like, oh no, 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 not you. You're going to always be awful. You're going to always be held at a place where you were at your lowest and your ugliest. We cancel people to want people to change, and as soon as people change, people don't allow it. They want us to be stuck in that little hole. I'm married. I'm in a stable relationship. Like, we tried for this child. We went to fertility for this child. We have the financial means, the the love, the care, the want, the desire. We're both. This is all we've ever wanted. We're both able to care for the child full time. And now by posting this, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's riling her up. It's getting to her. Let's keep poking, which is like gross in its own right but i don't know i was scrolling i'm a human i have feelings too i just wanted to address it so here you have jeffree star <gasps> you see this little foundation on my glaive oh i'm using a brand new foundation today in this video i have on not sponsored although i should be the brand new makeup forever hd F girl this makeup is hilarious okay makeup forever it's a grand name professional paris hd skin girl you my <laughs> okay it's like they have everything covered. You remember when like Apple did, did Pro? You know, like everything's a Pro, iPhone Pro, MacBook Pro, Makeup Pro, Professional, like girl. And then, then you gotta add Paris, cause you know, if it's from Paris, you know, hoo hoo hoo. So it's like Makeup Forever, Professional Paris, HD Skin, and there's even more stuff here, but I can't even see what the hell that says, girl. So I'm about Stay True, Found, girl! Stay True Foundation, Undetectable, girl. Y'all might as well just put the best foundation you're ever going to use your whole entire life. Don't even buy it or look at anything else, girl. Not even drugstore if it's super cheap. We can just buy this one right, right here at the house. That should be the name of the foundation. Literally. But anyways, I have it on right now. Let me know what you think about it. I'm kind of impressed by it. It was very pricey. It wasn't like super affordable or cheap. But I kind of feel like I like that it's glass. And here's a little topper. It's it's nice. Like it came out really nice. I'm not mad at it. I'm really not mad at it. But uh, girl, I can't get a day out to save my life making these drama videos. But I do want to say this right here. I get asked about like what's your favorite eyeliner? What do you use for your eyeliner? I use several eyeliners for different occasions. Like I usually have makeup for occasions. You got everyday makeup, makeup for film, makeup for going out. Like I, that's just my gig. So I have different little kits right but for everyday filming like my little for me for my filming gig I use the honest beauty eyeliner and I say that because when because it don't last long that's why girl 
Okay, I'll be honest with you, girl. I like it because it does not last long. It does not stain. It does not like leave a mark. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, it's easy to take off. You want to know a good one? If you want an eyeliner that's going to stay all day, the Milani one. Okay, this one right here. Milani Tank has to be that. The Milani The Tank Eyeliner. This one, girl, I am telling you, it's like a marker. It is like a marker. And when I re remove my makeup, it's still there. So I don't need that. For me to sit up in here and spill the tea for a little 10, 15 minutes, and then, then I got to go wash it off and do what I got to do. This is perfect because it does not last long. It's easy to wipe off. But if I'm if I'm gonna be in makeup for a full eight to twelve hours, long day, girl, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the big one. You know, the Milani tank. So this is different gigs, girl. I'm telling you, when it comes to makeup, I know. And like it's some people think it has to last twenty four hours to be good. No, no, there's some people who just want to have a little makeup on just for a few hours and they take it out. Like it's very much that. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, what we're talking about? Oh, Trisha Paytas, her problematic life, girl. Trisha Paytas, like literally, she needs to like sh shut up, queen. Like shut up. Okay, Trisha Paytas, shut. Up. Up, okay, that should be the name of this video. Just pay to shut up. Jerry starts coming for you the house. Okay, like, cause seriously, like, you're supposed to be like, like I've had it, girl. Like I've had it with Trisha. It's like, girl, Miss Thing, you're pregnant. You have a house. You have a husband. Multiple weddings. Live your life. Be happy. What happened to this? I'm gonna live positivity in my life. I'm a positive person. The house. And then here you are. The first sign of people popping off. There you go. Does that make sense? Or like, does that make sense to me or, or, or not? Like, let me always think about all that drama. Like, I really want to know what you guys think about it. Because I, I will be reading the comments. Oh, we got to pick the winner, girl. There's like a giveaway winner for the Jeffree Star bag. We'll put the giveaway winner right here. Congratulations. Send me an email. And I hope, I hope the person comes forward because most of the time they don't, girl. But here we go. Anyways, all that to say this, girl. I wish Trish pays the best and she needs to get her, she needs to get it together, honey. Okay. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.